uh, very important that we understand how to trade this. The easiest way to trade cryptocurrencies is as follow. This is trading and education only. We don't want to give financial advice, but it's just for you. Good to know that we are registered. And that, that includes all the companies that we trade with, you know, to know it, Harl Nots, Trendseek, Inner Circle, Small Cap, Big Gains. And um, at the moment in the world, we are subscribing around a thousand people every single month are coming into the different businesses. We comply with the regulations all around the world and we intend to keep that going because it's important that you get this data from a legal perspective. You know that you can use the data and we will keep doing that for you. This is what we suggest how we trade. You know, you can read that yourself, but uh, basically just hold positions. And I just want to st stop here with a stop loss. Many people heard me say last week that do not use a stop loss. And we had to come back and, and mention to people, no, we didn't say don't use a stop loss. There are two different things. We said do not use a trailing stop loss. A trailing stop loss and a stop loss is completely different. A trailing stop loss is when you say to the market, I bought a coin at $100. When the coin goes to 120, move my stop loss up automatically. So now if your stop loss is $10, when you go to 120, the stop loss, the trailing stop loss go to 110. When the coin goes to 150, the trailing stop loss will go up. But the exchanges are looking at the, those trailing stop losses. And when all around the world, and I'm not going to mention any names here, but when they see that all these trailing stop losses are huge, they wick the market down. And what happens is you kind of get liquidated. Even though you told the exchange, sell at 120, they will not sell necessarily at 120. <clears throat> they could sell your coin at $50 or $40. Because you just told them, sell my entire portfolio whatever the market is, read the fine print, okay? So what the exchanges will do, they will take the sandwich out between you know, the, the, the beef, between 120 and 180. They move it aside or they cancel those orders. So the next order is 80, 70, 60, 50. This is why you saw recently with, with uh, um, I nearly said the name, but with a certain exchange that Ethereum dropped down to $700, exactly to $700. By accident, I forgot about it. I had 10 Ethereum sitting there in case it drops to 700 by my Ethereum. Guess what? My Ethereum got executed at $700 when Ethereum was at a high of 2000 So it dropped from 2000 to $700. What if you had a trailing stop loss on and you had 1,000 Ethereum and you said at 2000 when it drops below $1,800, sell my entire portfolio. And everything then would have sold at 700 or 800 or 900 You would have been crying. And this is literally how people lose money. The exchanges are not your buddies. They're not your friends. You have to be very smart about these things, guys. So a stop loss is not a trailing stop loss. A stop loss is good to have. That's a manual stop loss that you put on. You go to Binance, you put your stop, you buy your coins and you put your stop losses on. If you can just get rid of that noise, thank you. And then, um, okay, I see we've got about 800 people on here now. So uh, with, your, with the stop loss, I asked Wendy, um, if we can do some training with stop losses. And when he came back to me and said, oh, oh, no, we can't do it in five minutes. We can't do it in 10 minutes. We can't do it in 20 minutes. It's not possible just to teach you a stop loss in five minutes. And Teresa will agree with that. You know, there's a lot more around stop losses. Uh, if you want to really understand stop losses and be educated really well, go in if you're into know it, go and have a look at the videos. If you're in Bitcoin Trainer Forecast, get hold of the training and education and do it. Uh, it's really important that you understand these things. That is how you're going to make money when you have the knowledge. Okay, now in this report here, we're going to look at Bitcoin, Ethereum, Cardano, BSV, Bitcoin Cash, Theta, Theta Fuel, Litecoin. Uh, we're going to go through Digibyte, Link, Zill, Omisigo, and these other two coins. And we're also going to have a look at BNB and NEO. I think uh, we added that onto this report. 
and then we're going to go through the Dow Jones silver and gold. I'm going to try and go through that really quickly. Guys, now the problem is we can't go through 50 coins here. And this is why we've got the secondary report, which is a DeFi specific report that if you want to go to the small cap, big gains that move really fast, coins that just explode in, 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 um, in value, that is really good to go here. This should be your base because you see now that coins that we mentioned like Theta, Theta Fuel, Man, these things are just rocketing, guys. And when we came out and made a, a call and said the theta is going to go to five and even to nine, we're the only, only ones in the world that say that, you know, we got a lot of scrutiny on that. But now suddenly people are going, aha, yeah, it's so close to $5 an hour. It can actually do it. And we say that T fuel, remember three months ago, we said T fuel is going to go up over, I think, 400%. And look where it's now. ADA. When we recommended that, you know, we believe it's going to go up another 900%. There's a big probability for that. I'm going to show you now why. And then the Dow Jones, we need to be very, very careful. I believe they're going to prop up the Dow Jones a little bit. They're going to print some more money because what's happening in America is just really a disgrace with the presidency, with how they operate in America, open borders, allowing people to come in. I mean, yeah, that's unprecedented. No country in the world is doing that. It looks like they want to destroy America. But... This will be ultimately good for cryptocurrencies because the, the worse it gets in America, the more money they print. I'm talking about the Fed and the current White House. I mean, they've got like so much money that they're wasting on supposedly COVID, but only 9% of the entire bill of this, these billions is going for COVID. So where's the rest of the money going? You know, you look at the Paris Climate Accord. Countries are paying billions of dollars. Okay, now ask yourself, where's that money going? For what purpose? Nobody can audit them. Yeah, something wrong here in the world. Now, the reason I mention these things is not to become political, but I want you to think about this is why cryptocurrencies are moving. Because we, the people, we're not politicians. We, the people, want our, our entire world back. Somebody is doing something nefarious in the entire freaking world. The way to stop it is to stop the monetary system, make that fall so that we can deal with cryptocurrencies on a blockchain so you know where the money is. So, you know, well, not really money, but you know where the payment system is going. Because for far too long, any country like South Africa, they can just go and print money. And then what do we, these politicians do? They build these enormous big houses with 10 swimming pools all around the world. And, uh, you know, this has to stop. And this is why Bitcoin cryptocurrencies are moving and have not seen the end yet. When I look at my algorithm data, I'm going to show you something here today with regard to the altcoin market cap, you will not believe what I'm going to show you. Uh, we are so little. In terms of percentage, I believe that we are under 5%. There's 95% to come. If you haven't made a lot of money in cryptos yet, don't worry about it. Just give yourself a little bit of time. That 95% is going to come so quick. It's going to come so quick. We initially thought that year by the year 2032 is going to be the peak of cryptocurrencies. And uh, three years ago, I came out with um, a granular cycle. And that granular cycle goes well into the year 2038. That's as far as we can see it. Now we can see it a little bit further. So we're not going to show that yet, but I'm going to show you ADA and Bitcoin to move up first because Theta fuel cannot overshadow Bitcoin. Theta can, but Theta fuel can't, according to our algorithm. So this means that Theta fuel has the potential. Our next move is going to be here. And then whatever Bitcoin does will be phase three. But we definitely see 50 cents in Theta fuel. And look where it's now. Look at that, 14 cents. We see 50 cents coming. Okay, but that will be in the new report. We will show you that. Um, okay. Okay, Bill, thank you. Thank you, Joshua. Okay. Thank you for your questions. We're always happy to help. Thank you, Bill, if you wouldn't mind to close down and then we're done. Sure, no, wor no worries. I was just going to say quickly, Marius, that was a great report a great um, webinar tonight, very thorough. So you've left me with not much left to say other than, um, you know, keep an eye out for the report that we'll publish tomorrow, um, later tonight or possibly tomorrow and the, and the webinar recording. And um, if you're looking for a little faster trades, um, check us out at um, small caps, uh, small cap 
uh, big gains at Bill Nolan on Telegram. And thanks, guys, for everything. Have a great weekend. Cheers. Thank you, everybody. Have a great weekend. Thank you, Wendy.